Someone once told me there are two kinds of people in this world, those who have lost all of their data and those who will. It's happened to me before and it is pretty devastating. I'm Veronica Belmont, and today we're going to talk to some people who use digital backup and storage as part of their daily lives. Through their stories, you'll learn how you can start to implement your own backup plan, so you never have to worry about losing your photos, videos, or other important parts of your digital life. John and Carly Keeney are a husband and wife creative team who together operate Inked Fingers, an Austin, Texas-based photo studio. They describe themselves as photographers, directors, and passionate storytellers. On top of that, they're also proud parents to their adorable daughter, Emiliana, a busy family indeed. Let's hear more about what digital media means to them and how their precious work and memories are preserved. Hi, my name is John Keeney. And I'm Carly. We're a husband and wife creative team based in Austin, and we specialize in all types of photography. We met about 10 years ago uh, in a coffee shop. I slipped her uh, a note, told her to read it later. She called maybe five days later. Uh, <laughs> we went on I didn't a, want him to think I was desperate. <laughs> yeah. We strike a balance, I think, pretty well between family and work. We have a two-year-old who's the joy of our lives, just an incredible little kid. We first became vested in backing up our photographs after a mistake, a, a scary one. I was at the computer, had a flashcard in my hand, and I inadvertently put it in a coffee cup with <laughs> coffee, coffee in it. And it sat for a brief time. Carly discovered the card. I walk in and card. see a card floating. <laughs> yeah, it's and coffee. I took that card out of that coffee, and I rinsed it off, and I put a blow dryer to it, dried it off, put it back in the card reader, and the files were still good, but then later the, the yeah. card failed. We really didn't have a sophisticated setup for backing up our files in the early going. For example, we would use the same card with multiple photo sessions, and when that card was full, we'd use another card. We shot in JPEG, and over the years, we changed that through obtaining knowledge that shooting in RAW allows better editing, so therefore, the storage capacities were increased. We needed better storage solutions. Photography is almost always a referral-based business. If, if you don't get the referrals, you're not gonna get the business, and you're not gonna stay in business. So mm -hmm. keeping those files secure is important. Our backup process begins when we get home. Doesn't matter what time. It's to ensure that the files are not left on the shelf. So from hard drive A that we download the raw files to, and we're editing them and we save the final JPEGs to hard drive B. And then from hard drive B, we're uploading them to the cloud where the clients can view and purchase prints. And then the final step is um, saving them to DVD. So we have a hard copy. You know, every good business has layers of processes throughout the years. And those processes lead to predictability. We try to stress from start to finish, you have to be very organized with how you approach your files. And I would say just start immediately. Small increments at a time. It doesn't have to be all in one day. Just take everything in stride. 